wanted. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you have a 2020 Jeep Gladiator like I do, and you want to put your brake controller on there, I have the uh, Takancha Primus uh, IQ brake controller, and you want to add it on there. Uh, there is a plug up under your dash. I'll show you where that's at, and there is a way to do it. You can uh, get this plug from Takancha to 30024 and make it work. The actual one that will be out for the Gladiators is a model number 3073-P. This is a 3024-P, but it will still work. The only difference is in the plug is, as you can see here, these two wires are swapped. Now, I actually already swapped these. Then you swap the blue and the black, and it's not hard to do. Actually, you push these little tabs right here on each side of it, and you push them forward. This little white piece inside here will come out and then when it comes out there's little gray tabs that you push in here take a pick like i got right there you can push the little tabs back pull these out and just swap your blue and black wire and put them back in and then this thing will work just fine on your gladiator so it plugs right in on the dash and then your plug on the back of your controller plugs in right here and you're good to go so this ought to be an easy setup I talked to the guys at Takancha, and they actually told me how to do it, which wires to swap, and nothing to it. I just bought this one. Now, they will be out, with, like I said, with the other wire set for that, but it's not out at this time. It may be a month, he said. He said it may be several months. He's not sure. I don't know why in the world it would take so hard to get them out when you got these. Just all they got to do is swap the wires. He would think they would just swap the wires and send some out, but they don't. So anyway, swap those two wires and I'll show you where you plug this in under your dash and you can put your brake controller on there. This is off of my 2017 Wrangler and I wanted it to put back on here so I'd have the brakes because my truck already has the tra trailer plug on it. So as you see here, I already got the trailer plug. There it is, the seven pin plug. Of course, we got the boat trailer style on top, the four pin to make the brakes work for electric brakes on the trailer. This is what you need to do. Okay, this is up under my dash. This is on the driver's side, the kick panel. And if you look up under here, there's a plug right here that you plug your brake controller into. So you take the Takancha plug, and then we just plug it right into here. Like so. And now I have this end right here that I would just plug into my controller, mount the controller under my dash, and I'll be good to go. Okay guys, you can see I mounted this Pretty much, I mounted it a little bit off. I wanted it between the two legs, so it's not hitting your kneecaps. And I mounted it up high, so that ought to be a good spot. So you can match it good. So I'll push this in. I adjusted it to standard to six, and then uh, I'll have to try it out on the trailer. But it is working, hooked up and working, so we should be good to go. So thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Please click the thumbs up on this video, subscribe for more. Jeep Gladiator and Honda CRF 250L videos, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Right on.